Hi, YouTube family. It's Buffy from Buffy's Flightful Journey. Today I'm going to make a childhood favorite, and it's some comfort food. This is continuing the 2024 Pantry Challenge, as I use up items from my freezer, pantry, and or refrigerator. So come along and see what we can whip up together. Okay, let's get started. With the chicken and dumplings, I'm going to put a little oil in here. I don't have that much, so I'm going to use all of that that's left. And I'm using chicken drumsticks. I've had them in some buttermilk and poultry seasoning overnight. I did remove the skin. So, I'm going to take them out of the bag, sit them in the bowl. I don't want to put some more poultry seasoning on it. This can says chicken seasoning, but it's poultry seasoning. I'm gonna move that over. My oil's getting a little too hot. I'm not trying to cook the chicken all the way. I just want to brown it a little bit on each side. I'm going to add a little pepper. I also want to put some garlic in it. I'm going to put about the heaping fourth of a teaspoon of garlic in it. I'm going to throw the onions out too. That's about how I want it. Again, not trying to cook it all the way. Just browning it on each side. Now we're going to add the onion. That'll help me glaze the pot. I'm also going to turn it in with some. Add it on high. And now I have it on about oh, five. I'm just going to shift that about five minutes. Well, still transitioning a little bit. So, lips off. We'll get the vegetables. I'm going to need vegetables to mine. Scroll them. And then I have some leftover peas, tinned peas. I'm going to add that to it too. And add 32 ounces of chicken broth, which is the whole container. It's four cups, 32 ounces. And I'm going to add a can of Campbell's cream of chicken. I'm not putting that in the bottom of the pan. I just have to stir the liquid around because I want to get all the Cream of chicken off the tongs. Can add some thyme. I'm going to add a teaspoon. Of course, it's not going to fit in there that much. This is thyme. You can add a teaspoon of this or rosemary. And it's optional. The time was readily available, so I used that one. I have some rosemary up there somewhere, I just don't know where. And I want to bring this to a simmer before I add the chicken bacon in there. And once we add the chicken bacon in, we want to let it simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. And that time, the chicken will get fully cooked. 
And then after that, we'll add the chicken biscuits, which will be our dumplings. And also, this will thicken up during that time, too. Maybe add a little more poultry seasoning. Some more pepper. And again, we just want to get this up to a simmer before we add the chicken bag. While it's simmering, I'm going to wash these utensils. Yeah, it will help to simmer if I put the lid in there. Simmer. Strip gets to put the lid on there. We put the chicken back in. And we're going to set a timer for. We're going to do 20. It needs to simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. I think I'm going to wash my tongue again. I'm going to get another piece of foil. Because when the chicken's done cooking, I'm going to take it out and pull it off the bone. I'll stir it every few minutes or so. We'll be back when it's time to take the chicken out and pull it off the bone. Timer went off. Let's see if it's done. It cooked for 20 minutes. And yes, the chicken is done. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off the bone. Be better off just using my hands. It's not that hot. I mean, it's hot, but you can manage it, I think. And what I'll do is go ahead and bring them all out so that you cool a little bit. Because I'm pulling each one. There were five drumsticks. My hands are clean. I'm going to work it up a little bit more before I put it back in. That's about how I'm breaking it up. Just to meet off one of the drumsticks. Do another one. And you can do this with boneless chicken, but you won't get as much flavor as when you use chicken on the bone. Because it gets the flavor from the bone as it's cooking. And before I marinated these overnight, I washed them in lime, juice, and water. And I pulled all the skin off. Well, most of it anyway. Smells good. It's a big piece of fat on this one. I don't know if I can pull it off. I'm going to have to get a knife. You got it. Once I get it off the bone, it falls really quickly. It's just a matter of getting it off the bone. And the only other thing we're going to add in there will be the greens biscuits. When you're doing the biscuits, you can cut them into fours. Or, because I don't want to dirty up something else, I'm just going to pull them into fours by my hand. And this recipe calls for using four to six drumsticks. My package happened to have five. Putting the vegetables back in there that came out with the chicken when I pulled it out as well. 
And I'm using the original flaky layers of the Grand's biscuits. Remember back in the day, you had to put a butter knife in there to get them to get the key in to pop open. Now you just twist it a little bit and it pops open. And I decided to do the knife because it'll be easier. And I'm actually going to do, let's see what that does. It's not like a lot of dumplings. Make sure I'm going all the way through with the knife. Once we get all the biscuits in there, we'll let it put the lid on there and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And that's it. And the biscuits, as they cook, are going to soak up quite a bit of the liquid. Which, and just remember, I need to taste it, see if there's any seasonings in need to add. Yeah, I'm glad I. Cut them in six. You don't want to stir it too much because it'll tear it up. So you don't want to get them down in the liquid. I need to get a spoon and taste this. Wow. See if I need to. Hmm. We need something. I think it needs some salt. Not that seasoning had a lot of salt in it, but obviously not. Yeah, it not. A little bit of garlic powder in there. I had the garlic in there, but I think it needs a little bit more. Again, I don't want to stir it too much. Okay. Get the lid on. Let it do its thing. The salt and a little bit of garlic helped. Do you know what it's missing? You need some celery. I don't want to do celery salt. I'm going to do celery seed. Might do a little bit of the rosemary. Yeah. And get it to come off. The way to come off. I'm actually going to turn it off for this let the residual heat finish up. I'm going to get my spoon. I washed it. I'm going to get it so I can taste it. That's better. I think it needs. Maybe I do want to do some celery salt. Give me a second. Here's some little bit of celery salt. Let me wash my spoon. Taste it. That's what it needed. Yeah, that's what it needed. Make sure you'll put just a little bit more of it in the celery salt. But it needed that celery. Always have to taste your food when you're cooking. 
Because if I had you know, tasted it, I wouldn't have known how bland it was. I'm going to wash it one, one more time and taste it one more time. Well, you know, it's Spices in you. Oh, yeah. That's it. Take it off the eye. And roll it. And we're going to serve me up some. You see how thick that gravy got? I've never made it with vegetables before, but trying to use up what we have in the fridge and the freezer, so why not? Mm -hmm. You need some veggies. Did you need back on there? There it is. Let me get you some light. Here's the final dish. Here it is. Get some chicken. Let me get a piece of the dumpling. Okay. Still hot because I just took it out. This is good. Good comfort food. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to add some more pepper. Because I don't really see the pepper. I see the other seasonings and I don't see the pepper. But other than that, it's perfect. Mmm. This is good. I mean, I like the veggies. I'll make it again with the veggies. Thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that, and leave a nice comment. I appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.